And so they're getting double, triple, quadruple whammied on their on their association dues, and it's just killing them. Even if you didn't have a mortgage, if you're a fixed income or just even stable income, and all of a sudden this cost of living is going up three, four times, like what are you supposed to do? And and what are and, you supposed to do? Yeah, it it's going to be really very interesting to see what happens in this market, the condo market in Florida which is something like, I forget, what did they say? Like 38% of all the homeowners are uh, condo owners or something wow, like that. It's like a number. tremendous Jeez. amount of people. Really? That yeah, much, I'm going right? to have to go back and double check that, but it's a super high percentage. It made me go, wow, huh. when I saw it. Now, I would have um, I, I guessed like 20%. Yeah. Like South Florida? Or, uh, or, or, for all of Florida. Really? 38% of all of Florida is like in condos, smokes. but most of it's south, like the great majority are, uh, are southern, east coast, west coast. And, well, and coastal. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. almost say. But, now, wow. um, huh. if you're in trouble with your condo and you need help with it, hmm. we're the people to give give a call because we're not going to force you to do anything. I've already met a whole bunch of these condo owners that are in this dire strait. This is why I'm saying it because I'm seeing it in real life. And what I'm telling them is I don't think there's an avenue for you to sell right now and i haven't even brought up the short sale words yet